Hey, Weekly Metal Reviews here after another concert that we went to. Who did we see this time, Tyler? Uh, we w saw the U.S. Abomination Tour, and uh, that features Skeleton Witch, Havoc, Early Grave, and then there was two locals, H the Horde of the Eclipse and us, Among the Fallen. Uh, this tour is 63, 63 shows in 65 days, so it's coming somewhere near you, therefore you should go. That's like at least one show per state. Pretty much. Um, show. Yeah. So, we're not really going to sit here and blab about our band because that's just rude and selfish, um, but... We would appreciate it if you checked us out. I'll link our Facebook. Um, we are among the fallen. So uh, check us out. We're not going to be selfish and blab about it. So uh, that's that. <sighs> Got anything to say about that? Um, that's that. It was his first show ever. Yeah. Um, and yeah, moving on. The next band was a local band, local black metal band called Horde of the Eclipse. Um, seen them before, both have. And, uh, you can go. Um, or did you see them? After our, our performance, I'll just say I was uh, kind of, um, sort of, I don't know, not in a good mood about a couple of things, so I just kind of sat outside for a while. I unfortunately didn't see this band. I heard their performances pretty pretty good but um I didn't see this band or early graves but I, I'm sorry about that but it's just yeah I wasn't in a good mood but um Tyler saw them yeah I, I went and watched him um they got to play two songs uh one was an original I didn't catch the name of it um and the other one was a dissection cover and I honestly have never listened to dissection much black metal isn't really my thing too much. I like some of it, not all of it. But um, the Horde of the Eclipse, they they were a lot better than the first time I saw them. Like definitely musical progression. They sounded really well. Uh, they they just execute black metal well. From what I know about black metal, I'm not the biggest person on black metal. Um, so you know my apologies there. But but from what I know about it, they executed pretty well and they definitely had that very black metal sound kind of like a more old school black metal it seems like uh with the, like the the, the trembler picking and all that stuff you know it, it, it sounded cool i really enjoyed the, the song they played so i need to uh check out their album that they recently put out if you like black metal and, you, and you're just looking for a new black metal band or a, a lower a more underground black metal band this is a pretty good band i would that uh, I would check out if I were you. Uh, the dissection cover, I don't know the song they played, but I thought that was awesome. And uh, the guy that did our sound, the sound guy for the champ, which is where it was, uh, played bass for him, and I didn't know that. So if he watches that, thanks for doing our sound. It was pretty cool, and it sounded cool. And uh, they sounded good too. Uh, very sick drummer. I'm going to fucking throw that out there. The drummer is fantastic. I really like the drumming. But uh, they, they were pretty cool. I, I enjoyed them. Next band was Early Grave. Um, uh, they weren't bad. I don't really know how to describe the style of this band. Uh, they, I mean, it seemed kind of hardcore. It seemed thrashy. It seems very aggressive, very energetic. Um... I didn't catch their whole set because I had to go do some things to take care of. But what I saw wasn't bad. Um, I'll check this band out more. But uh, I would... I mean, in comparison to the Dex 2 bands, they just weren't as strong. But they weren't bad at all. I'm not, please don't sit, uh, think that I thought they were horrible. If you're an early Grey fan, uh, tell me what is awesome from Early Grave, and I'll check it out. So, uh, yeah. Anything to add about them? I, I, I only heard it from outside, but from outside, they sounded 
They sounded good from outside, but I yeah, they were really nothing. they were loud too. Was, they weren't bad. Um, yeah, next was Havoc. Uh, so you can go. Um. Well, uh, yeah, I, I came back in. I'm like, I, I'm. I gotta see Havoc and Skeleton Witch because you know they Havoc and Skeleton Witch. I've never seen those bands before. So I came in. Havoc was like, I'm like, whoa. It's only like four guys, and two guitarists and bassist and drummer and you know, one guitarist. Well, I think the bassist and the guitarist were both doing the singing, or, mm -hmm. uh, thrash singing, I guess you could say. But um, I I was like, wow, watching this band, I'm like they they just blow me away. It's like the first time the whole night that people were actually you know getting into the bands that were there, you know. I'm like, dang, these guys are really good. Like, I've never been in too much into thrash metal, you could say. I like some bands here and there, but I was like, wow, live, this band really exceeded my expectations. I didn't really have any any expectations for this band. I'm like, oh, I know they're good, so I'll just go and I'll watch them and I'll probably be impressed. But, you know, that didn't even begin to cover it. I was like, damn, these these guys are just... They're crazy. I mean, it, it's a thrash metal show, so it is like, damn, that, that's that's freaking sick. These guys are just incredible, and that that that's it. That's it. That's just bottom line. They're incredible. I was blown away by the intensity and and aggression and you know, nice metal to it. You know. I mean, yeah, there's hardcore bands nowadays that get as low as they can, their head bang, but there's people windmilling and stuff. I'm like, I feel like I'm in 1985 or whatever. But, uh, what would you think of I thought Havoc was musically absolutely fucking perfect. They, they, their guitar players have the crunchiest, heaviest E standard tuning live in just overall sound that I have ever heard. I was floored by how amazing their mix was. Uh, the vocals and everything, they were really loud too, and they just sounded so perfect. I mean, you could hear every damn thing that was going on so crisp and clear. It was amazing. I've been wanting to see this band for such a long time. If you like this band on record, you have to see them live because they're they're so much better live than on on record. If you ask me, they pl they played every note so perfectly. They were aggressive. They were heavy. They were fast. They had energy to them. I mean, the vocals were just superb. The guitar playing was phenomenal. This makes going to the champ worth it. If you ask me, this 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 band alone in. I mean, throwing Skeleton Witch on top of that just was like icing on the cake. But this was by far the best performance I've ever seen at the Champ. I mean, I was I was blown away. This is one of the best uh, new, newer, younger wave of thrash metal bands and that everybody needs to check out because this band has so much potential and it's going to be a force in the thrash metal world, so... They put on a phenomenal show. And lastly, was the headliner Skeleton Witch. So, uh, you can go. What exact what genre would you exactly call Skeleton Witch? Black and Thrash Metal. That they um I, I don't know. Like when they first came on, I'm like Black well, and Death. I saw them er I saw them outside before the, the the whole show began. Really nice guys, it seemed like. Uh, I think I talked to the guitarist, the blind guy. Um, he, I, I talked to him a little bit. He seemed really, really nice, and you know, it, it's it's cool when guys like that are really nice. But then seeing them, they got up on stage, and like their first song, it, their guitar tone, something about it just sounded so like, like low and disgusting. Yeah, it was so like, I don't know. I was just kind of like. After Havoc, I'm like, all right, Skeleton Witch, try to impress me after that, you know, and I was just like, like I said, I'm not the biggest thrash fan in the whole world. I mean, yeah, I like Megadeth and stuff, but, you know, I go and see 
fucking Havoc and Skeleton Witch, like, Skeleton Witch, their whole set was just, like, aggression the whole way through. Like, yeah. just, they didn't slow down, not even a little bit. Like, they just, they drove, like, I don't know, they went 80 in, like, a school zone the whole time, it seemed <laughs> like. It was just crazy. You know, I've never really gone to a full-out, like, thrash metal show like that, where, you know, two bands that are, like, thrash. Well, yeah, I saw Anthrax, and I saw Slayer, and Mayhem, but, you know, the, like, now I'm seeing Havoc and Skeleton Witch at the same night, and, like, Skeleton Witch was just full-out, I don't know, they didn't stop. Like, it was just crazy the whole time, like, just crazy what those guys can do and crazy how they can play so well and crazy how nice they are but they play a nice like long long set mm -hmm. I probably like the that. longest set I've ever seen at the champ yes um and they deserve it because you know they're skeleton which they're a big band um but I mean they, they play a nice long set and the crowd was into it and it, it's just I, I don't know how to describe it it's like I could think of all these funny ass like um, analogies of how aggressive and how cool it was, but I'm just gonna say like it was just uh, it was it's just one of those thrash experiences. It it was thrash, thrash metal. Skeleton which fucking dominated. Uh, like Sam said, they never slowed down. It was like pure fucking chaos the entire time. All they did was play, like, they played, they hardly stopped. There was any breathers in between songs. They, they would just go song, 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 song. It was, it was cool. It's like they really just wanted to pack their performance with songs instead of talking, which, which is, you know, cool. And uh, they just, they sounded great. They, the, the only album that I really have listened to a lot from them, not that I haven't listened to any of the other songs, uh, you know, I know, uh, shit. Really popular, popular one off of the Breathing Fire. Son of a bitch. I apologize for that. I'll put in the link the one that I thought of. I, I mean, I knew that when I knew uh, Beyond the Permafrost, of course. Um, you know, songs off a couple songs off of their first two albums. But the only one I really, really, really know a lot is Forever Abomination, which I got the singer to sign. Which, speaking of the band the members themselves, like Sam said, they're really fucking nice. I was talking to uh, the blonde hair guitarist, I don't know his name, I apologize, and the singer. They, they just seem really uh, grateful for every fan that they have, for every show, for every, just anybody that buys their merch. I mean, they're really, really nice people, and you can tell they like what they do. Um, to, to book a tour that is 63 shows in 65 months, it's just kind of 65 months, uh, 65 days, uh, it's just kind of like unheard of anymore, you don't really see that, uh, it, I mean, these guys are just road dogs pretty much, and, and they're, that didn't even hurt their performance at all, and this tour's been going on for a good two weeks or something since like mid-September, um, and, and they sounded just perfect, like there was no... Nothing wrong vocally, nothing wrong instrumentally. Their drummer is sick. Every member of this band has so much talent, and this is just a band that's really grown on me. I really, I, I like them a lot. First time I saw them was at Ozfest 2010, and my mom was there, which is funny because the singer uh, was standing up there telling everybody to smoke weed and eat pussy and stuff. <laughs> my mom was there, and she was like freaked out. I, I, I couldn't drive. Then, so that's why she was there, and uh, plus she likes Ozzy, so there you have that. But uh, they they were much better this time, if you ask me. Probably because they were headlining, they got to play their own set. But um, I mean, all the songs they played was just awesome. Nothing but riffs this entire night, which was awesome. Uh, it was nice to hear something that didn't have breakdowns in it at the champ. It really was. Uh, but yeah, Skeleton Witch, if you've never seen them, go see them. Same with Havoc. This was a fantastic pack tour package that you should go see. One thing that you, you said about vocally, like, singer Skeleton Witch was, was perfect the whole time. Like, 
I I don't know how the fuck that guy is like human. To, to tour 63 days, you know, I'm guessing about an hour long set each night, right? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's <laughs> I mean, goddamn, to sound that good for like 60. Well, you know, they have a two day break. It sounds like, but for 65 days in a row. I mean, oh my fucking god. Yeah. That's incredible. I mean, they just tour nonstop. It's pretty incredible, man. Right? That's just crazy. And I wish this place was packed more, too. Yeah. Like, it was only about half packed, it, it felt like. They, there there could have been so many more people, but oh well. I feel like it was sure. less than half packed. Yeah, but it, it yeah. was still really fun. I mean, they got everybody into it. They got people into it that really aren't into that music, such as uh, Reggie. Oh yeah, the Reggie little blonde guy that's in our head. STP video runs because we care as well. You yeah. know, I mean, that's really cool. He was he jacking said. shit up. Yeah, but anyways, we're going to uh, conclude this. Check out Skeleton Witch. Check out Havoc. Check out Early Graves. Check out Horde of the Eclipse. Check out our band. Uh, all the bands deserve it. Shout out to all the bands. Yeah, all the bands were amazing. Uh, all the uh, fans that uh, told us that we played a good show, all the guys that we know that we ran into tonight, uh, shout out to all you guys because you guys fucking rule. So yeah. Shout out to Thrash Metal. Yeah. No, Thrash Metal is the show. best shows to go to if you ask me. So uh, this show was awesome. Weekly Metal Reviews. Much love. Bye.